Recuperation JM Langlois Recycling Facility, located in La Prairie, Quebec, Canada, may resemble any other transfer station. Trucks come in every day and discharge construction and demolition debris onto the tipping floor. The material is then processed through the sorting system, where recyclable material is separated from the waste stream. However, since operations began in 2008, this facility has proven to be unique among all others, with the integration of an optical sorting unit into the fully automated line. Eagle Vision, in partnership with engineers at Sherbrooke OEM Limited, has developed this optical sorting unit, conceived especially for the construction and demolition industry. On average, we receive over 100 trucks per day, Last year, we processed 125,000 tons of construction and demolition debris. The material stream is fed through a series of conditioning processes prior to reaching the optical sorting unit. Material conditioning is essential to maximize the efficiency of the unit. In order to get optimal results, the material must be properly prepared before entering the Eagle Vision. That means, first, removing as much of the contaminant, such as dust and fluff, as possible. Second, we need to make sure that the ejection valves are working properly and that the air is clean and free of moisture. The waste is introduced to a primary screen which separates the waste into two streams, overs and unders. The overs are elevated to a picking station where recyclables are manually sorted. The unders are transferred to a magnet where the steel is removed from the stream. The remains are fed onto a star screen, which screens the fine material, followed by the air classifier, which separates the heavies, rock, concrete, brick, etc., from the stream. It's only after these multiple steps that the material is introduced onto the Eagle Vision optical sorting unit conveyor. The material is accelerated to 600 feet per minute before being analyzed. The optical sorting unit library contains the data that allows the recognition of different types of material. Each material has a different signature, and in this particular application, the wood fibers contained in the construction and demolition debris have been targeted. Every time that the material corresponding to the proper signature passes under the reading portion of the conveyor, it is ejected by controlled and concentrated air jets. It would be possible to sort the same volume of wood by hand, but it would require from 8 to 10 people to do it. Right now, in addition to the machine, we only require two people. The wood, sorted by the optical sorting unit, is discharged onto a conveyor belt for quality control. As of now, two workers are assigned to maintain quality control. However, due to low contaminant content, we anticipate being able to reduce that to just one worker. In order to maximize the output of the unit, basic maintenance is essential. The only thing that we do is check that the light and lenses are clean, and then we perform a calibration. This takes no more than 5 to 10 minutes. The remaining debris is separated by eddy current, which isolates and retrieves aluminum. Finally, leftover residuals are reduced to a minimum before transport to the landfill. I've personally toured several facilities in the USA and I haven't as yet seen one as advanced as ours that integrates an Eagle Vision optical sorter. We're probably the first in Quebec to have a system like that. Like Recuperation JM Langlois, take advantage of the technology and reach new recovery rate levels while reducing laborers. For further information, don't hesitate to contact us at the following toll-free number. 1-866-851-2579 or via email at mtremblay at sherbrooke-oem.com.